But that's OK. It's OK. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what they're um, asking us to do in this, in this problem, Dominic, is they're asking us to go through and find the measure of x. Now, they say that dkml is a rhombus. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, now what we need to do is we need to go back to our notes and think about what is everything new that we learned about a rhombus. All right. So, so far in a parallelogram, I'll go through the steps of a parallelogram. We know parallelogram opposite sides are equal. We know parallelogram opposite angles are equal. We know parallelogram opposite sides are congruent. And we also know in a parallelogram that diagonals bisect each other. But last class period, we talked about a little bit more about a rhombus. There's a couple other characteristics that a rhombus has that not all parallelograms have. So does anybody want to bring up one of those that might have been? Laurent, do you remember what, might, what makes a rhombus unique? I'm sorry? Well, yeah, but that's all parallelograms, though, are opposite on, are par have opposite sides are parallel. What's unique about the par uh, rhombus? Do you remember? We wrote it down in our class. You don't have notes? OK. Kevin? The diagonals are perpendicular. That was huge. That's not true for all parallelograms. Only for a rhombus, and then we learned a square, have perpendicular bisectors. And what else did you remember, Dominic? The diagonals are bisectors, but that's also true for parallelograms. There's something else, though, about that. You have four congruent sides, right? Yeah, it's way. So the two characteristics that separated the rhombus apart from all other parallelograms is that it's all have four equal sides, and its, and its um, bisectors are perpendicular. Now let's go to this problem. In this problem, we know the angle, or we want to find the measure of angle. What is it actually asking us to find the measure of? Can I see? KAL. So find the measure of KAL. Um, and then we have to find x. Well, KAL is right here, right? So to find this measure, if this is 90 degrees, Carly, what do you think this angle has to be? There you go. And then Mark, what do you think this angle has to be? If that's 90, that's 90. What do you think that one is? 90. There you go. And Caleb, what do you think this one has to be? If that's 90, that's 90, that's 90. What do you think this one has to be? 90. There you go. Don't even need Devin to tell you, right? So now you have this. So now I can say that 2x minus 8 equals 90 degrees, right? And now I just need to find the measure of x. So plus 8, plus 8. 2x equals 98 divided by 2, divided by 2, x equals 49. So it's fine, it said find the measure of KAL, then find x. So there you go. Done. Fine. OK? Make sense? You're going to do this one. <laughs>